My name is Justin Reed. <laughs> and I'm Katie Reed. I feel like we're doing video now. We are the right Reed now. family. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us what you do for a living? Go for it. My job, well, actually, we both work at Carter Machinery. Fun nice. fact. We also have the same birthday. We're kind of weird in that. Mm -hmm. um, I am basically a project manager. My title, you would have no idea what I do by my title. So I'm basically a project manager for parts. And I'm basically a shipping and receiving guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm an assistant in the outside warehouse. So I help deal with all of the outer stuff with trucks getting going out, coming back, unloading, loading, all that fun stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you met and how long ago that was? How long you've been married? Yes, we how, can. How long ago did we meet? What it was you? February 12th, 2011. Yep. Is that 13 years? Yeah, 13, yep, 13 years. And so... Well, that was our first date. We met before that on a blind date. It was my brother's girlfriend at the time and Katie worked at IHOP together. Yeah. And she came up to me and she said, hey, you want to meet a girl? She went, she goes to church camp. I said, that doesn't really mean anything, but yeah, I'll meet her. Met at a bowling alley. Yep. It's high, high quality. Absolutely. Right there, Blind day. date. And it just went from there. Yeah. But then we've been married almost 10 years at the end of May. It'll yes. Be 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. May 31st. <laughs> what was your wedding like? Fun. Big. It was it was big but it was i feel like simple like it wasn't like crazy like stressful or anything and a lot of people said that it was really relaxed just relaxed and fun yeah so awesome yeah how i'm going off script a little bit how how well do your families like get along oh they hate each other no they can't, can't stand each <laughs> other <laughs> they, they do not <laughs> no, they actually get get along really, really well. My dad and um, her dad, just yeah. they pretty much connected right off the get go and bonded over cars and yeah. doing everything with their hands. It's kind of like a weird bromance. Like we always tell them, like if they're both somewhere, you can't find them because they're all looking at cars and stuff or yeah. looking at antiques. Oh, this is my new that. project so, I've been working on, type of deal. Yeah, yeah. and then our moms are both this. They get along just fine. Oh, yeah. so, thankfully, we have awesome families. I would say that even if we weren't recording. <laughs> <laughs> How did you um, come to faith in Christ? When did that happen? I came to know the Lord at church <laughs> camp. Sorry, I broke the rules. <laughs> um, but no, it was it was just one of those things. And Ian gave, if anyone doesn't know, um, if you've never been. It's a magical place, and I don't remember honestly the exact date, but um, I just remember like just feeling so. I don't know a better word for it than you, like just like clean slate type deal afterwards with that. Thanks. <laughs> um, for me, it was March. March 13th, 2008. Oh, you're gonna be extra. I am, absolutely. Wow. I'm sorry. I was saved on March 13th, 2008. <laughs> At a uh, national basketball tournament, actually. Um, we were there, there was a preacher up there, up there um, he was up there speaking, and it was one of those moments where I just felt the Lord pulling at my heart. I had no idea what in the world the preacher was talking about. I wasn't paying attention, but... <laughs> Because, I know, right? Because, you know, I was just distracted because I was having this internal battle of, you know, nah, I'm good, I don't, I don't need to. And it just, it just kept pulling at my heart. It just kept pulling and pulling. And my coach at the time, um, he actually saw that I was just very not myself and distraught. And he, after, after the service and everything like that was done, he came up and sat next to me. He said, Justin, you need to talk about something. I said, yes, sir, <laughs> I do. <laughs> he said, let's go talk. And so we um, left the gym and we went and sat down on the bleachers in a soccer field. And um, he talked to me and um, we prayed and that's when I accepted the Lord into my heart. Awesome. 
Thank you. How <laughs> how did you get connected to Riverside? I'll start this one. Yeah, yours is the Because of her. <laughs> <laughs> She's always been going there, and when we first started dating, um, she I was trying to be the you know the cool boyfriend. I was like, yeah, I'll go to your church with you. And we went there, and I fell in love with the place. And uh, we honestly quit going to my church shortly after, and just I've been going there ever since. He was a holiness we could not yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I think I don't even know. I think I was three, three or four, when my parents started going to Riverside and haven't left. So they uh, they started going there when our old church, there was a change of pastors and they didn't like the change and so I don't know if they knew somebody or what they probably did, but I don't remember <laughs> ever since I can remember I'm like there. So. In what ways has being a part of Riverside helped you in your walk with Christ? I'll take this one. Go for it. <laughs> I think it's it's just having that family. Like um I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. It's a second family. I mean, like, we have lifelong friends that are there that are like family. Like, I mean, like, your family is basically a second family to us. Um, and it's just, it helps, it seriously helps to stay connected. Like, I said this on the podcast, but there's something about being there and being with, like, other believers and just being yourself and feeling at home when you're not at home that makes it just, you, you just feel connected. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah. And it's definitely helped like having mentors and also being a mentor to other people, like with just kind of expanding faith and all that kind of stuff. Um, for me, let's see, okay. I felt okay. like it. Guys. <laughs> John Luke. Shh. You're gonna be quiet, okay? Okay. <laughs> Go back down there and play. Go. Go in the grass. Get. Go on now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so for me, um, I can say that it's helped my spiritual growth with. I think it's just that spiritually growing. Um, because for the longest time I just felt like I was at a, like a dead standstill not really growing in my faith just kind of riding along enjoying the ride at least but just you know just I was at a plateau I wasn't going anywhere I wasn't going down I was just you know coasting along perfectly fine with it and it's just ever since we really started going there I felt the need to do more and be more involved with the church and um I just really think spiritually it's just helped me grow. On that note, yeah. Justin, uh, <laughs> you recently expressed a call to ministry mm -hmm. and have started pursuing that call. Correct. Um, what has the process been like so far and what do you feel like God is calling you to do in that? Um, the process so far has been talking to Brian and Jeff and just explaining to them what I'm wanting to do. And as of right now, I'm feeling led to lead the youth in some capacity. Um, whether that means like being the youth pastor or just, you know, being a leader and just helping out more, be more involved with the youth. Um, eventually, I would love to become a youth pastor and just grow from there and, and teach, um, teach young kids the right way to go. You know, and or try my best to at least, and that's been my biggest struggle: is not knowing the right way to teach people the right way. How many times can I say the right way? I don't know, but your voice got super high. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> this was a question. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but uh, <laughs> so like, and if like youth has questions or something like that, not knowing the right way to answer it is my biggest thing. And not having to like like freak out and call Brian every time that they come up with the question. So you see that as like a hurdle to overcome. Exactly, yeah. and that's what I expressed to Brian is like, 
my biggest fear is like not knowing how to answer the questions the right way. And he told me about the Haggard School of Ministry, and that's <laughs> that's when we that's where we're at right now. Um, I actually start I start my first class this Sunday, and um, it's um, and um, Harley McKinney's actually will be in the same class, which is cool. Yeah. So I have somebody to go through with and cheat off of. And <laughs> Learn from you. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's what I meant, of course. Grow. Grow. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, I'll start my first class, and then we'll go from there. And yeah. hopefully one day, you know, I'll get to be a, a youth leader, a youth pastor. Yeah. And hopefully at our church, but I love Jeff being the youth pastor, so I told him, Straight up, do not be in a rush to ever get out of here because I'm learning so much from him right now. Mm -hmm. so. so, Katie, you know Justin's been helping with you. What do you, what do you do? What is your volunteer focus at Riverside? So I help with the littles. So um, I'm typically with the younger, younger kids, like the preschoolers and kindergartners, which ours are fighting right now. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry. Um, you can yell at him if you want. Hey, Gracie! What are y'all doing? Don't throw grass at each other! Y'all, stop! And this is why you are in kids' ministry. Yeah. 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 Okay. They could be worse. They could be throwing poop. So, yeah. I mean, it yeah. could be worse. But, no. <laughs> but no, normally that's what I help out. So, I help out with that on Wednesday nights. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, and then, like, BBS. I just, I'm drawn more, like, right now to the littles. I do occasionally help out with the youth, like, with events and stuff. Um, awesome. So, y'all have done, like, youth events and stuff, and you have planned infamous scavenger hunts. Maybe. <laughs> what What is your most favorite part about planning those scavenger hunts for the youth? <laughs> Mine is definitely, like, getting to just watch everything like I love I would love to do one of them but it's so fun to just kind of be like the the mastermind behind all of it because it's hilarious and we get to pick what all stupid stuff that they're going to do and they have no idea what they have to get to do exactly I think personally my favorite right now is the leaders because last one that we did I can't tell you how many people came up and asked are we gonna have to do something? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so they had to um, teach yoga to uh, their team at Longwood Park mm -hmm. and try and get strangers. And some, like, I think one team got eight different. People yeah, eight different random people to to join in on their little yoga, yoga session. It was wow. amazing. They, they kind of cheated because there was a, a woman there that actually like knew how to do yoga, so she kind of trained them. But it's still, it was legit. Yeah, so. absolutely. My favorite part is probably just getting everybody out of their comfort zone. Yeah. Because so they have to talk to people. They have to work as a team. They can't just sit, sit there on their phones the whole time and just ignore each other. They have to actually get involved. And they have to go out and they have to talk to strangers. And they have to take pictures with strangers. And they have to ask strangers for directions. And I think it's just the, the most funny, the funniest thing is just watching people have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So, speaking about funny and crazy things, what is the craziest thing that you have done at Riverside? Um, we did a lot of stupid stuff when we were in the youth group. Like, I remember, like, forking and spinning people's houses and doing all sorts of stupid stuff. For people stuff. who may not know what that is, what is that? Okay, first of all, I'm going to judge you if you don't know what forking and spinning <laughs> houses is. It's basically where you take, you take like plastic forks or spoons or cutlery. <laughs> yes, you can have a Danimal. It's like <laughs> super creepy yeah. out the window. Do you see that? Gosh, sorry. Last night she did that. I went out of our bathroom in our bedroom and I looked to the left. Sorry, this is random. <laughs> and she was standing there in the hallway. You talk about horror movies. I thought I had a heart attack. All you see is a silhouette of Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> she was holding a stuffed animal. I was like, crazy. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Um, forking and spooning a yard. So you take all of them and you have to go at night and you basically just like put them in the yard all over the yard. 
It's kind of like, I think you, people used to do it with flamingos, but that's way too expensive. So we just went with four humans. So we would do that, and then, um, I don't know, we, um, we ransacked Brian's office several times. I mean, or maybe someone allegedly did that. Um, <laughs> It's on camera now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. The, they're fake facts. The old couples. Yeah. The old couple. Yeah. We dressed up as old couple. For me, it's probably definitely all the weird characters that Brian has made me play. <laughs> Bubba. Bubba Jr. A questionable Bubba Jr. Yes, Bubba made me. Jr. More so, hey, you want to do this? Yup. <laughs> But Bubba Jr., um, yeah, the old couple, that was a long time ago, but that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. And it's just, I don't know, just having a good time. You know? Generally, if there's something in the church that, you know, leadership needs someone, some couple to be a part of that is a little out there, usually you two are first. Thanks, That's Seth. really offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I am not out there, good sir. I'm the most serious person I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So we want to we're end with uh, this last question, um, just to get to know you guys a little bit more. Yeah. It's date night, no kids, and you can go or do whatever you want. Okay. Where do you go and what do you do? Am I pregnant or not pregnant? Not pregnant. Okay. No kids. That yeah, changes. No kids. <laughs> well, I wanted to make sure. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that changes a lot. I it does. Yeah. yeah. What would we do? Because if you're pregnant, we probably would just take a nap. <laughs> go to sleep. Or go to the movies or something. Yeah. But no. If without babies, we would turn the date night into a date weekend yeah. and go to an amusement park somewhere. Absolutely. Or and do something thrill seeking. Yeah. Like you know, jump out of airplanes. You know, normal that. stuff. We did like that, that last year for our anniversary. We did. This year, <laughs> we were going to do things like that, but you know, things happen. True. Yeah. <laughs> but, um,. No, definitely something outside for adventures like roller coasters or something. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are huge on Disney, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What's your favorite part about Disney World? Oh gosh. Or favorite area or Okay, favorite area for me would have to be either Animal probably Animal Kingdom. Same here. Um which were like not the typical like most people I think either go for Epcot Magic or, or Magic Epcot. Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Animal Kingdom for sure, mm -hmm. but um, no, I think, I don't know, it's just magical. Yeah, there. I just like the environment better, more so than Epcot and Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, you get the classic Disney, you know, it's awesome, don't get me wrong. All the yeah. parks are awesome, I love them all, but Animal Kingdom's probably one of my favorites just because of the environment. It just, I don't know, I like it a lot. And Avatar Land's really cool too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. We are not paid sponsors, by the way. <laughs> not yet. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Three, okay. One, two, three. We, we are, are Riverside. Riverside. <laughs> that works. Awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Wait, bye. Wait, bye. Wait, bye. 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 <laughs> bye.